Welcome, my name is Matthew Stevens and this is Pedal Echoes, a discussion about what pedals inspired an artist's creativity for new music. My discussion with Mercha happened in the morning of January 24th, 2021. Mercha is the artist behind Dog Is My Co-Pilot, a musical project started in the midst of COVID-19 last year. Dog Is My Co-Pilot was born as a way to release music, while Mercha's main project I'm fost la munte și mi-a plăcut. awaits news that it is safe to play again given the worldwide COVID-19 restrictions. Enesawa was released in October 2020. This is episode 17. Welcome to Pedal Echoes. Hi. How did Dog Is My Co-Pilot get started? I actually have, you know, my main gig uh, is another band. Uh, it's another post rock uh, band, actually. And uh, we kind of have some, um, you know, some of the most democratic things going on where <laughs> every band member actually writes music. You know, even the drummer, he's very proficient with um, with guitars, uh, you know, and whatnot. So uh, everybody's, you know, shooting ideas. We kind of jam with them on, on rehearsals. Uh, and, um, you know, I pitched a lot of songs uh, along the way, you know, or along our existence. And the ones that didn't make the cut uh, actually ended up in EP and Isala. I think it's important to find a home for the songs that don't make it with your main project. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm always, as a writer myself, I'm always writing. I, I okay. play in a band called the Emblems and always showing the guys in my band uh, songs. And if they don't like it, I don't want it to be discarded and lost forever. Exactly. And just, sit, and just sitting on a hard drive. You know? exactly. I get the fact that, you know, we have some certain sound going on and those songs were too Mircha-esque. So I actually, you know, like you said, found them a home and, um, you know, this is how, how the project was actually burned. Great. So can you walk me through some of the um, sounds that we hear on that EP? The most DIY thing that you could you can you can probably do. Um, you know, you have time to experiment with with sounds. So um, even though I, I use the camper for this, uh, I'm I still have the whole you know effects kind of vibe going on. So. Um, actually experimented with a lot of, uh, of the reverbs. The first song of, uh, of the EP for the camper, which is actually called Ionosphere, you know, so it's, uh, it's very space-like, so it's, it's nothing like a room um, type of, of, re- of reverb. So actually, um, you know, uh, drown the, the, the clean guitar parts into, the, into that kind of reverb. And, you know, it, for my ears, at least, that was some the result was was amazing. You know, it was exactly what I was looking for. On the first song, the D twenty one song, uh, I ended up using the rotary, and I'm I'm, I'm very um, happy with that. The sounds that you saw after on the EP, can any of that be transferable to the current uh, your current pedal board setup? Yes, absolutely. So even though I, I I've used some some effects um, like we just uh, discussed. Uh, I tried to keep it simple, you know, I tried to keep it like uh, it was something I would use in a live situation. I tried to keep it simple, you know, from uh, from an execution point of view, just so to have like two or three guitar tracks, you know, going on. Something that you, you can achieve live with, with a basic kind of pedal board. If you had to pick three actual guitar pedals that you use in your main band, what would you say are the three that give you your sound? Well, that's actually a very good question. Three ones would be, um, I definitely pick, I haven't had it before. I, I usually use, you know, like um, amp profiles of, of the Friedman B100, but I'll, I definitely use, you know, like the B100 pedal that Friedman put out. Uh, and in the meantime, from what, I, uh, from what I saw, they put up a deluxe version, which um, has, you know, like two channels on it. So that one definitely would be would be my first choice on uh, on the pedal board. Uh, the second one, it's probably my favorite fuzz, and um, you know one of the the few pedals that I, I kept. Earthquaker Devices Part Fuzz. Um, you know, getting some drones going on with the fuzz. Third one, that would be New Neighbor Devices. I've been eyeing their Immerse version two for a while. Yes, that would be the <laughs> that would be the third pedal <laughs> that I have on my pedal board. I had a I had the first version, but I think the the second version is, is a lot cooler. I think they've done something with the the algorithms of the the reverbs. But yeah, both of them have a delay and reverb in the same pedal, so that's why I why I I'd pick <laughs> I pick up. Uh, 
uh, just dimmers and not you know like a, a separate delay or a separate reverb because you know that pedal just does it all you know it, it has also a, a kind of chorusy thing going on with the detune so um yeah that would be those three would be you know my three pedals that i would definitely make good use of on on performing live and even in the studio what does dog is my co-pilot have coming up dog is my co-pilot well um it's winter here <laughs> as well so not much things to do you know so i'm just uh, you know whenever i uh i have some some spare times i'm, I'm chilling on the couch with the guitars and uh with my guitars and when something comes up i usually you know grab my audio interface you know plug it straight in and and track some uh track that idea you know so so far i've actually have like two or three songs going on so um yeah still working on new music you know um and it will probably this time around it will probably be like an LP. You mentioned that you have a, a main band. Uh, what is the name of that? I'm fost la munte și mi-a plăcut. That would translate to you know I went to the mountains and I liked it. That's uh, that's you know my main act. Let's say you know like a, a full time band with um, four members, um, like two guitars, bass, and, and drums. All right. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much, Matthew. To find out more about Dog is my co-pilot please visit dogismycopilot.bandcamp.com. And Asala is available now. Hi, this is Mircea from Dog is My Copilot, and you're listening, go home and come tomorrow, off my EP, Anisala. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. It goes a long way. <laughs>